let us start with a predefined function. In this case, I'll be demonstrating using Python 3 on Windows. I have already launched Python here. So you can see here. As I have already demonstrated, if you want to get help, you can get into help command line interface also by saying help and hitting enter. And here you can actually check for the help related to classes such as in string, etc. So if you want to get details about a particular class, you can actually get into the help utility and you can search for the particular class and it will give the help for you. On top of that, once you define variables by giving variable name equal to the number or whatever value you assign, depending upon that, the type of variable will be determined. If you want to get the details of the type, you can say type of i and uh, you can check the type sometimes as part of our programs we might have to check the type of variables because uh, python is a dynamically typed programming language and type is the way to go and now sometimes let me cook up some data uh, which is similar to real world uh, scenario i typically use the data set called retail db and there is a data called orders and each order will be having four fields one is order id second one is the order date something like this okay and then order customer id something like this and then order status so this is how each order will be represented and typically we will create a variable name like order equal to and let's represent as string strings can be represented in single quotes or double quotes in python i'm using single quotes here so it might look like this from this you might have to extract the information you might have to get a lot of details as part of string manipulation so understanding string functions is very very important and we will see it in detail as part of this session. Before actually get into string manipulation, let us see the relevance of typecasting functions. So in this case, when we get the data from uh, files into collections, as there will be alphanumeric characters like this, we define it as string. But when we extract information like order ID, or year, or month, or date, or customer ID, the original data type of those things can be integer, okay? And uh, hence, we should know how to typecast into the original type when the data is represented as string as part of loading data from file into strings or collection of strings. Okay. And hence, understanding typecast functions is very, very important. So, typecasting is very straightforward. If there is a variable s yes, which contain two or one, let's give it as one. As it is specified in single quote, if you say type of s, yes, it will be displayed as string means the type of variable s is of type string but the actual value is of type integer right and hence we should know how to typecast it's pretty straightforward we have class called int you just have to use the constructor of that int and then you have to pass the variable uh, in this case s is of type string and i'm passing that to constructor int and it will actually convert into integer as long as this is valid value okay now you can see type of i it is of type int but if it is not valid value so now I am actually saying s equal to a and uh, let's say I try to convert into integer. You will get value error. So it actually throws exceptional error when you try to typecast incorrect values to a inappropriate type. Okay. But as long as the value is of type integer, for example, in this case, even if you have hundreds and thousands of orders, typically order ID is of type integer and hence I can extract that information and typecast it into integer and it will work fine and how to extract it and how to then use typecast functions we will see at a later point in time but just explained with a hypothetical example about how to convert a string into integer as long as the value in that string is a numeric value so that you understand the APS such as int similarly if you have float means if you have a float value within the string something like this 1.5 and if you want to convert into float type you just have to say constructor float and then yes and then you can say s is containing 1.5 and type of f is float and sometimes we might want to convert integers to strings so for example you have year month and date in three different fields and we might want to convert it into string for whatever reason so in that case what we'll do let's say the date is represented as a number like this and for whatever reason we might have to convert into string in that case we just have to say s equal to string of i so the most common scenario where we have to convert an integer to string is if you want to append a string while printing the value of type integer then we have to convert the integer to string okay for example if i just want to print today's date is and if i say d it will fail okay but if i say str of d it will be successful okay so this is one common scenario where we have to typecast the numeric values to strings whenever you have to print with some other string you have to do this 